Free State, ACE is not a threat. Uh, uh, come hell or sunshine, it's not a threat because ACE did not do well for the people of the Free State when he was leading that province on behalf of the ANC. Uh, so ACE was not Zuma in the Free State. In the Free State, the issue you were going to have was the laxity of ANC structures and the local government service delivery uh, challenges in the Free State and uh, uh, leadership squabbles at the regional level. So those are inward things, subjective weaknesses we knew are the ones who, which are, were going to, deal, to do us uh, 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 harm in the Free State. And I think the comrades of the Free State also must be commended. They fought hard to get above 50%. Um, you can see that uh, even there, the challenge was the, the voters who did not come out in their numbers as it would have happened over and over again. Our people did not come out in numbers because of uh, service delivery issues in terms of the free state. So um, uh, we did not do well. And you've now created a new problem in the free state of the two centers. How did that happen? In fact, why did you do that? No, we did not uh, create two centers of power. Uh, it does not mean that uh, when you come for an interview, it is a guaranteed that you'll become premier. So the product of the free state is the outcome of the ANC processes. So the best candidate won the day. So this is not a political decision. A political decision would have meant that uh, let's not create two centers of power, like you say, and then uh, that's it and so on. But the panel, in terms of its mandate, which is the officials, had to look for the best candidate. And uh, McQueen emerged in that particular instance. So uh, all seven of us uh, appointed her as the, as, as, the, as the premier of the free state. Uh, it will not uh, arise the issue of two centers of power in the free state because Mkolisi is not a bitter person. is uh, uh, very much hot. And that is why then in terms of uh, deployment, we deployed him to become the speaker of uh, the legislature, which is a very important uh, uh, center of government. So he is deployed there. So in terms of uh, what must happen in the province, where such arises, we'll have to deal with uh, those uh, going forward. I think if you, has the ANC given up on, on that province? It's just not happening. No. From election to election. Since losing it, there's simply no hope of ever. We have not had a chance to look at Western Cape and decide on what we want to do there. Yeah. Um, uh, I think we are giving the DA a free ride. 